Hello guys, I'm gonna show you today how to connect this system, bus system, to a Sony receiver, which is right here. This is a Sony receiver, right here. We're gonna connect that, that those speakers that we have right here, into a that receiver right there. Maybe you just bought your speakers like I did. I was trying to figure out how to do it, but um, I learned, so I would like to teach you how to do that. Okay, this is the main cable, which is to bring the power from the receiver. Actually, not from the receiver, I'm sorry. From the subwoofer right here. I'm going to show you in a little bit from where to where. So this is it. You should have this if you just bought this kind of home theater system. Okay, we have a couple of, uh, which is five different colors here which is uh, you know uh, this one is a brown the center speaker the white one is the left speaker the purple one is the right to right which is uh, from um, right next to your TV and this one is the right left and this one from right to right which is from the back in front of your TV like you are sitting on the sofa and you're gonna have to do the surround system and put a surround right next to you where you are sitting and then the front one and the center okay like I was just saying this cable is supposed to go exactly in here which is the where the speakers sound will come out and all the different calls if you see that that is uh, right left I'm sorry I have upside down this uh, uh, equipment which is just the uh, subwoofer this is you know right rear left rear and uh, left front it says you know center front and right front but the good thing about this is that the colors it match exactly so you don't you won't get lost with that okay this is my receiver right here um, I'm gonna just I'm gonna show you the cables where are coming from the one that I show you like looks like computer cable but uh, it's not of course in this case you see you should be able to see the uh, names here like left this is its left surround which is the back ones and all of them has the number center left right and front the center central i'm sorry i'm repeating again so once you put it in there you should be able to uh make it work and listen to your good home theater system all right we'll we'll stop okay now we're gonna connect the cable this cable that is gonna bring the power from this buffer or amplifier whatever you want to call this through the to the receiver you're gonna have to connect it right exactly here and in turn those screws and tighten them up okay now that we are done already connect the speakers i mean the cable that is gonna go to the receiver now we're gonna be able to connect the speakers that uh, this holds here is gonna bring the power to your speakers and I'll show you how that thing works so right here we have the colors so make sure put it in the place that is supposed to go well now you have here the uh, the color so you see uh, if you don't know how to read it just just uh, oh, of course you know I'm sorry about that so put it in this is right front you put exactly where the right front is supposed to go and this is a left if you see there left front all right and we take the next one which is the center one if you see c the center one oh i but actually i almost forgot that you you're gonna put your amplifier or your subwoofer in the place that you want it uh, to work so this one you can put it under there I'm sorry I should start from the bottom <laughs> what I did I start from the top that's not right but uh, well you can do whatever you think is right 
So this one is the rear. I'm sorry. The right, left, but in the back. Is the is the is the right? I'm. What am I saying? I'm confusing myself. Okay, in here you can tie it with the hand, or just have a screw a flat screwdriver and tie it up. So now we're gonna go straight to the uh, receiver. Okay, now, like I said, these cables, it, they are coming from the subwoofer, from, from the BIOS subwoofer. So this cable, uh, you're gonna connect to your receiver. Um, you're gonna see the, the names, right? We start from the one here. So let me see if you can see it. So hopefully you can see that. So this one is says the 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 right surround, okay? The right surround. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna put it exactly what the R is. So we put it in there. So let me see. R surround. The good thing about this is this is that you know all the receiver says surround center and surround back and front whatever so the next one is left surround so we're just gonna put it in the l here the the red where where it goes the black where it's supposed to go and we have a next one here what it says the center one so where is the center one it says center one right here center and okay you put it right there so remember this is the one that comes from the subwoofer and the next one should be the left all right the front left so the front left gonna go exactly where right here l see l right here i don't know if you're able to see of course you are all right, you put the red one in the place. All right, you stick it in there. And make sure the wires are, are connected properly and tight enough. That way you can have any issues later. So try to, uh, when you turn the the, the receiver sometimes it turns off itself if a wire is not tight enough so and then the last one should be the right the front right so we just open this we lose this little okay and make sure open it and then you put it back again and tight enough. This surround system and or this home theater system is very good. Not really you don't have to get a uh, receiver for, uh, specifically from Boss so you just can get any receiver and but make sure uh, connect it as it's supposed to. Once you connect these wires here you're gonna go straight to the speakers and I'm gonna show you in a minute. I uh, actually this is extra, extra for you. If you have antenna, of course, just the antenna goes here. If you're able to see it, the FM antenna. That's FM antenna. And then of course this is extra. <laughs> so the TV is here. So the TV has to come in. You find the uh, TV, or you can. I have it in the Sat Cat. TV in so I'm gonna connect it now I'm gonna have it ready for for sound and then I'm gonna do the uh, this is coming in out from the TV come in and then this should be comes out come out from the receiver let me see let me see so this comes from the TV that's come out from the uh, you know cable box and this should be your uh, cable TV. So when you put it out and you're gonna have to come out, you're gonna have to put in, 
So actually, this is the TV has to be out. The cable goes in, the HDMI goes in, and the TV gonna go out. I'm sorry, you're not able to see it right there. So anyways, you know what I'm saying. So you put it back in there, and now it should work. So I have my, we have our receiver connected. Okay, now once it's connected, right there. So remember the uh, receiver is off. You should have it off. You don't wanna cause any damage to the receiver or any uh, few surprises because one time I burn up one and uh, you know I had to buy another one so be careful with that okay now we're gonna connect these speakers so these cables is the one that is coming from the um, from the um, the subwoofer okay remember this is the one that uh, has a color each one so this is the uh, the one that comes from there so subwoofer to receiver and uh, from a subwoofer to the speakers that's interesting as a surprise me when I the first time I because the first time I got this maybe you you too and it's complicated so connect that this is the uh, the right front right so you connect the right front right and this I don't know if you see this and this one is the uh, the center one and and here this is exactly center C so you connect that to exactly red red black black and the other one move it a little bit over here all right and the other one is the left front left so we connect it connect that once you have the speakers connected it should be work so let's go to okay we have already the three front one I'm sorry I'm sorry the three front one connected so it's you know you wanted to have it uh, a mount on the wall or just you know right next to the TV doesn't matter it's up to what do you want like that so here we are done we're gonna go to the back now okay this is my surround speakers actually is they are different one you see it's not as small as the one in the front so um, it's uh, if you have those it's very good because you'll be able to amount on the wall or amount to uh, anywhere you put the brackets so this is the two the two of them that uh, we're gonna connect in the in the back okay right here this is the left right for instance if you are if you are sitting facing the TV it should be right if you are you have your back to the TV and face it to the wall that, that's gonna be a left so the good thing about this is that the brackets if you see here I had the brackets and I used to have a uh, extra speakers here and I made a hole to this uh, pipe or metal steel here and I just hang it over there the good thing about this is that you just put the speakers and as you see the holders over there and you just click it and put it over there on top of the brackets so now of course you're gonna have to connect the speakers uh -huh. and then right here you just put it and it will hold it will stay see It'll stay so you can turn it to the right to the left so wherever you want it right there see very nice Okay, the same thing to the other one, which is the last one that we're gonna do. I already have the the brackets right there, as you see in it. Come on, this camera is not staying; it's kind of moving it itself. I'm not telling you to move. Anyways, 
When I tell you to move, you don't move. <laughs> so here is the last cable that we have. R R. In the same speakers, we're gonna connect to the specific connection. Let me try to connect it. And then after you connect the la the last one should be able to have some sound. So you put it right there. And turn it left or right. Nice, right? So I like those speakers. Those speakers are very expensive. Actually, a pair of that, it cost about $150. But uh, I got it for less, less than that. I won't tell you how much, <laughs> but uh, it was, was good. All right, and we have everything set up. You turn it on, the Sony receiver, of course, and it should be working. I already tried it and it works perfect. You see, everything is connected to the subwoofer already. And the good thing about this, I like it. I like it because you don't have to turn on all this. It's, it's off the uh, control or switch, whatever you call those. It's off and it still make sounds very good sound so okay thank you very much for watching this video if you like it please share it comment and uh, and talk to me if it, it, it helps you it, it helps you to figure out how to connect this home theater system speakers the woofer to a sony receiver so share it don't have it just for you so take care See you next time. You see, we have it back there. You see how it looks? Looks great, right? We have it right here. Sonar receiver and the three speakers. And a couple of Blu-ray right there. Looking good. Enjoy it.